Now, in this video, we will going to discuss about the third revolution, which was from 1995 to 2020. So, see the difference now. Virtually integrated global supply networks offering customized products and services. So, see the difference now. See, global, all over the world, supply networks offering customized products that means according to the requirement of the customer the products has been manufactured and delivered and also its services so once it is done it's not that we are going to it is end with that so by using those things we need to do the service by sitting at home we can operate lot of things today but that was not there in the early 60s or 70s or 80s see the difference now so under that point number one the key characteristics of the third revolution using the example of dell computers apple and bharti airtel the first is a product company that is dell computers the second combines product and service apple and the third is the pure service organization see now so, if you are considering the entire evolution, what it took place, we have moved from a single product to the Model T black color, that is from Ford company, to wide variety as offered by Toyota to customization, by Toyota to customization, as offered by companies such as Dell Computers, a wide variety is offered by Toyota, then the customization is offered by companies such as Dell Computers, Apple and Bharti Airtel. Single product, then comes wide variety and then the last is the customized requirement. So the evolution took place from one stage to the other stage gradually from 1910 to 2020. So now organization have moved from offering products to offering user experiences which are a bundle of goods and services selected by the user this has changed the way supply chains are configured to deliver value to make sure its customers get the completely customized product dell has built a strong network of vendors who are cost and technology leaders. So that means completely customized product. So that means the product which has to be delivered to the customer is according to his requirement. Dell has built a strong network of vendors. That means we need to take constantly the feedback from the customers. So that is has been done by the local vendors and not only that we has to, we have to be the cost effective cost effective that means it should be a competitive rate suppose if I develop a computer or a laptop which we are going to use today if it costs around uh, 1 lakh of course it depends upon the technical specifications of the user again. So when you go and try to purchase a laptop or a desktop, the, the person will going to ask you what is your requirement. So he will not going to say once I want to go for a purchase of a computer, it is, doesn't mean that uh, to take it, this, so this costs around 50,000. No, it is not like that. And he will going to ask for your application, sir, what is your application, whether this will going to suffice your requirement suffice means it is it satisfies your requirement so that is the one which will going to ask the first question that is what is called customized product so based on that suppose if i want to do the graphic design then by using the 4 gb ram it is impossible we need to have a graphics card for that and we need to have lot of graphics card the ram capacity has to be more it may be 32 gb or 64 gb and then we need to have a lot of other things. These are all the major things which is required for our requirement. Though that is what is called the customized satisfaction and technology leaders. These are based on the understanding that 
the vendors will adhere to a high benchmark on cost and technology leadership which in turn will reflect in dell's product so once you have a good cost effective and technology leaders naturally in turn which will going to have a high benchmark what is it what is benchmark that is the standard so we say a normally a person who a student who normally takes about 70% in his uh, academics so what is his benchmark the benchmark is 70% and he has to score more than that so similarly here once you have a good quality product so that will going to become the delivery of that pers- uh, that company to have a benchmark so that should be his minimum requirement and once it has that in his vendors once the vendor has that has that type of benchmark then the it, which in turn will going to reflect on the company so naturally the dell's product in this case apple has global partners with which it maintains median term relationship based on cost and technology benchmarking to fulfill its product manufacturing requirements so that means in the third revolution so we have a good offered customized products and services that will helps the market to have a very good quality products and also the services so in the next video we will going to discuss about the key concepts in the supply chain management